Jim Stackpool from jimstackpool.com. I want to share with you one of the most important attributes that all our successful clients have had on board when they've been approaching this whole shift in their business towards a much more successful advisory practice. Um, and it's important to have this in context to what all our clients are trying to achieve. It, and it's they have it fundamentally in their makeup. That all our clients that come to us and pay our fees are fundamentally trying to work towards what we call a position of mastery. And that what might appear initially difficult because learning how to price differently, learning how to have different conversations with clients, learning how to work with different alliance partners, learning how to attract the right stuff, they're all might be quite difficult for people to do, but their path is to become, to turn that difficulty into easy, to be masters at it. And so their path is to focusing on trying to get to this level of mastery. To get to that level of mastery, they all work through what we call competency. Just getting more and more competent, making by regular practice. It's not like trying 50 different things to get the one result. They try the same thing 50 times by practice, practice, practice to get through that level of competency. And they stay focused on those tasks, whether it's new ways of pricing, new ways of engaging with their clients, new ways of hiring staff. They move through this path of competency, focusing on what they've been told to do even though it feels uncomfortable until they work through that level of uncomfortably get mastery. But the core element, what really makes them champions at change, is by understanding the, the three pillars that hold up this level of competency. The first pillar we provide, and other firms like us provide. It's a set of skills, it's a set of templates, it's a set of procedures, it's a set of, it, it, and it's coaching on top of those skills. It's, it's by role play, it's by simply learning the skill, learning the technique. And that can be available off the internet, can be available in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or workshops. And, and a lot of people attend these skilling sessions, but they don't do anything with them. The next level is a commitment to what we call getting fit. It's not only just having the skill, because I can be skilled in the whole, uh, skilled up, but if I actually can't last the distance in some of the difficult conversations about price or how I actually engage with alliances, if, I haven't, if I'm not fit, I won't actually be getting better and better at using the skill. I've actually got to make sure it lasts. It's got to be tested. So this is why we, for instance, ex expect all our clients sending us a copy of their transcripts for their clients every month, not just the first couple, every month to make sure they maintain a level of fitness. But the most important aspect, is what I call a mindset aspect. Why are they doing this? And people can be skilled and people can be fit, but they don't know why they're doing it. Now, if, if our firms are only coming to us because they want to be compliant, they'll drop off after six to 12 months. If they're coming to us because they're looking for a silver bullet to get them through this next level of legislative hurdle, they'll drop off. But if they're coming to us because they fundamentally want to build a business that's aligning to the outcomes for the client as compared to the product, then they will stick, though that's a fundamental basis for them to move forward. If, if people can understand why they're doing stuff, and that's fundamental to the engagement, even before we start putting in place some competency and mastery, then we're on a path to great growth. So you don't only just want skills, you don't just want to also get tested by being really, you want to make sure that your why, your mindset is aligned to the ultimate outcome, because it just gets too hard. And if your mindset is more aligned to finding a silver bullet, I suggest you look about getting out of the industry as quick as you can. I'm Jim Stackpool from jimstackpool.com.